for watching the cycling day. <laughs> Hello everyone, and I can't believe I haven't already made this video. I'm a massive Yakko Fulsang fan. In today's video, we're going to look back at Fulsang's five biggest career victories, which is not an easy task. Yakko Fulsang is the pride of Danish cycling at the moment. He's been a pro since 2006, and he's also had a stint as a mountain biker. He started with team designer Kurgen and managed to win the GC in the Tour of Denmark for the first time with them in 2008 and consequently was signed by Saxo Bank where he went on to win two more Tour of Denmark titles before he moved on to Leopard Trek and stayed with them until 2013. He also managed to take the Tour of Austria title in 2012 after he was snubbed a spot in the Tour de France squad for Radio Shack Nissan Trek team. In his first year with Astana, he managed to seal an impressive 6th place finish overall in the Tour de France and was also 2nd to Dan Martin on a stage. Since Fulsang finished 6th in the Tour de France in 2013, he's gone on to do some great things and he's had a very dominating 2019 but we'll speak about that a bit later. He's managed to have finished 2nd in the Olympics and also has a number of other 2nd place finishes along with the Strada Bianchi and Flesh Vallone. 2019. So coming in at number 5, we have Vuelta España stage win in 2019. On the 16th stage of the Vuelta España 2019, Fulsang managed to drop all of his breakaway companions and stay away from the GC battle that was ensuing behind him and went on to drop his breakaway companions and take the stage win. Coming in at number 4, we have the Criterium du Dauphiné 2019. Fulsang managed to win the Criterium du Dauphiné 2019 without taking a single stage win. However, he did place second on the penultimate stage behind Wout Pools to take the GC victory overall from Adam Yates. Coming in at number 3, we have his Tour of Denmark victory in 2008. This was a very young Jakob Fulsang who rode for continental side designer Kurgan. He managed to win the overall GC with them and this is considering that team CSA was still existing which was a gigantic team for Danish cycling and largely expected to win the Tour of Denmark every single year. Well he won the race by first finishing second on the infamous Weiler stage on kills right behind Matti Bressel who took the stage win on that stage and took the stage win on the stage beforehand as well. Jakob Fulslang went on to clinch the overall title in the time trial as Matti Bressel is not a particularly good time trialist and therefore Jakob Fulslang surged to take the overall and in front of the home favourites of Team CC. Coming in at number 2 we have his Criterium du Dauphiné 2017 win. The Criterium du Dauphiné title he won in 2017 was very impressive as he won on stage 6 in a sprint finish with Chris Froome and Richie Porte and then he went on to win stage 8 where he attacked at the right moment to take the overall from Richie Porte as this was a genius tactical move as it put Chris Froome and Richie Porte up against each other but Jakob Fulsang managed to flurry away with the win. Coming in at number one, we have his Liège Baston Liège title. Jakob Fulsang's most prestigious title in his career so far is his Liège Baston Liège title he took in 2019. Leading up to the race, Jakob had finished behind Julian and Philippe on a number of occasions, including Strada Bianchi and Flesh Vallone. So it seemed like an annoying occurrence that was set to repeat itself. But on this glorious wet Sunday, Astana put all their faith in Jakob Fulsang one last time and they waited until the Court de la Roche or Faucon where Alaphilippe was dropped at 15.5 kilometers to go and Fulsang turned on the gas and gapped everyone and apart from a tiny slip up that caused most of Denmark to have a slight heart attack he raced to the finish and recorded his first ever monument win and that was truly a big day for Jakob Fulsang and an amazing day for Danish cycling that was only eclipsed by Mess Peterson going on to winning the world championships. That just puts in perspective how 
important this victory was for Jakob and also for Danish cycling as a whole. So that's the end of our list and Jakob Fuglsang is an amazing rider. He's won the Tour of Luxembourg as well. He's won stages in Tirreno Adriatico and he's won the Volta Andalusia. So he's truly a special rider and we really hope he wins the Giro d'Italia this year even if it might be a long shot. Thank you very much for watching and if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel and we'll see you next time.